right? A Sahabi can be someone who, who claims to believe in Allah externally, in, in Allah and His Messenger externally, but hides something else in his heart. So he can be a hypocrite, he can be a kafir, he can be a Jew, he can be a Christian, and he can, he can be whatever. He's just a person who accompanies someone else. That's what a Sahabi is, a companion. That's the meaning of it. That's our definition of it. So What's the, the, that's, what that's, happens that's, to yeah, people yeah, who leave Islam? Oh, we're not talking about that. Uh, go, 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 go ask a faqih. You know what a faqih is? No, but you know, you know your stuff. What is it you know your stuff. You tell me if what you happens really to want, someone who leaves uh, Islam. We're not scholars. We just if you really want to know, open up a book on Islamic law. Yeah, they all say the that, they all say that the punishment for apostasy is death. All four According schools. to the Old Testament, where God revealed oh, the law, oh, wait a minute. what is the punishment for people worshipping other than God and okay, leaving okay. their okay. religion? Okay, but so you admitted, you admitted, Mansour, that the anything. punishment for leaving Islam return, is death, ask you right? A no, I haven't admitted anything. Lizzie, you know do, better. Do, do you I'm admit that the punishment for leaving question. Islam According is death? According to the biblical God, if you worship other than the biblical God, what's Mansour, the punishment? Mansour, please answer my question first. Please answer my question first. Please answer my question first. my friend. Okay. Do you think do you think Rahaf Al Qudun, who just left Saudi Arabia, do you think she should be killed? Do you think her, do you think she should have been killed? Do you think she should have been killed for leaving Islam, Mansur? Do you think she should have been killed? Do you think she wants to debate it? Do you not? Let's debate the other guy, the Muslim guy, right behind him, so come. Sorry, Liz. Why? Why are you sorry? I'm sorry for you because you can't leave Islam because you'll get killed if you do. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this guy said yes. This guy said yes. Tell me why did you say? Thank you. We have an honest Muslim here that says that if you leave Islam, you'll get killed. Why? Sorry. Sorry. I don't know your name, sir. Sir, how I know your here's, name? Yeah, here's, how I know no, no, no. Name. Here's the thing, sir. Here's the thing. Why do you stay in a religion that effectively forces you to be in it? Because if you leave it, you'll die. If you leave it, you'll be killed. The punishment is death. We're asking people about. You have got a talent in conversation. That's why. <laughs> Mansur, I'll answer your question on the Bible, but can we have a proper debate about apostasy, please? Please, please, please. No, it's fine. I'll come and I'll just ask him again if he wants to have a proper debate. I'll answer your question, but you need to answer mine too. Go away. No, we just want to answer, sir. Mansur, Mansur, we just want to answer. We're having a conversation, bro. Please, don't answer. Because this is a matter of life and death, right? It's a matter of life and death. For your God, from your God, for worshipping other than the God of Israel. So we debate both of them. So, I think you're what you're referring to, sir. Guys, we're having a conversation, I'm going to answer your question, right? So, you're... I'll answer your question. So, you're referring... Why are we talking to this separate team? Just go away. We're not going to talk to them. Sorry. We haven't... We haven't been deceptive. We haven't been deceptive. We just told you, you've admitted that the punishment for leaving Islam is death. What's deceptive about that? There's nothing... No. This is Speaker's Corner. This is Speaker's Corner. And I think it's... Mansoor, we can debate about we, both. How have we deceived Christianity Mansour? Christianity and Islam, we can talk about both. I'm I was answering your it. question. I was answering your question. Oh. Seems like the Dawah team really don't want to talk to us. But you know, we're not going to stop trying to hold people to account for what the Quran says. We've been on the ladder today saying, according to Surah 489, according to numerous hadith, the punishment according to all four schools of uh, Sharia law in Sunni Islam, according to all the schools of law, according to Shia Islam, the punishment for leaving uh, Islam is death. And also, according to Muhammad, what mm -hmm. he did to apostates when they left Islam, anyone who leaves his Islamic religion, kill him. That's what he said. There is no punishment. If anybody wants to leave Christianity, nobody. There's no punishment at all. That's just between you and God, right? Um, but our, this is. Our, we yeah, we see people around the world. We see people fleeing their lives, like Rahaf al. Kudun, I think her name is, you know, <laughs> fleeing their lives because they don't want to be killed because they know full well that the punishment for leaving Islam is death. And we think this is wrong. 
and we want to stick up for those people and we want to show people that Islam is nothing but a religion for bullies, really. Allah is a bully. He has to bully people into believing him with the threat of death. That's just wrong. Come to Christ, Muslims. Thank you.